all right wonderful people welcome back to this wonderful channel where we bring you back to back update and information as you the heart uh, in case it's your first time of joining us on this wonderful channel kindly go ahead and subscribe like comment share and also remember to on your notification button so that whenever our news drop you go be the first we will collect them thank you for listening god bless you without you you know go be me at all at all it don't shell it <laughs> Uh, the information where we say there for my table, uh, according to the things where I they enter into now, uh, we say the energy boys uh, and the uh, BNL boys. Biafra BNL boys. I they usually say be uh, born a Biafra uh, liberation and be that's B L E boys don't clash together. <laughs> Uh, they clash, no be smart, you know, now for their checking points. Now, the boys of the Biafran uh, gathered and met them there. And there was a heavy shootout there. Uh, but the bong bong way we say they happen, we say the energy boys then don't fear more. <laughs> they, don't, they don't disappear. I hear say the boys, then the Biafra boys, then take over the checking points now. Uh, see, now then they there. And according to what they do there, uh, they say it don't tell you what we say. Um, those NIG army boys, them, uh, they, they do their things there. Uh, they collect money from motorists. Where we say that they pass there. They say if they check the amount of money uh, where these NIG boys, them, army, they collect for that checking point, it don't enter to millions. Yeah, because according to their report, that every uh, uh, motorist that pass there. Uh, usually give them 100 naira or more every day and you can check how many cars that usually pass there at that time um, energy i mean them boys checking points and upon that so now in the say now in the the biafra boys them i mean boys get angry say this thing done too much uh, because according to them they don't they hear keep keep complaints from the drivers and the motorists where we say that they pass around that area uh, and then they decided to go and chase those guys away. I just say they don't chase them away. And right now, people will be sitting they occupy that territory now. Now, Biafra Army boys. I see the hot now. Nigeria Army has caught marshaled 14 officers, 9 soldiers in Abuja. They don't shell it. <laughs> they say the commander army headquarters garrison, AHQ garrison. Major General Koko Isoni. On Thursday, inaugurated a general court martial to try out 14 officers and 9 soldiers alleged to have breached different provisions of the Armed Forces Act. The court martial was convened at the Scorpion Officers Mess Asokuru Abuja, pursuant to the powers conferred on him by Section 131 Bracket 2 Bracket D of the Armed Forces Act, CAP. A20 LFN 2004 for the trial of Nigerian army personnel alleged to have committed different offenses. The garrison commander, in his inaugural speech, assured the accused persons that justice would be done to all parties concerned by members of the court. Isony said that members of the court are men of integrity and high standing character who would bring to bear their years of experience and service knowledge. He named the court president as Brigadier General M.O. Etting, while the judge advocate is Major General A.D. Roberts, adding that the duration of the sitting is 60 days. He urged them to eschew technicalities and do substantial justice to all. He also advised all those appearing before the court to shun unnecessary delays that could prolong their trials. The commander challenged the court to carry out its responsibilities without fear or favor to anyone. You don't shell it. <laughs> to be a soldier, no be easy one, no, uh, because um, anything uh, we be say you do, uh, you go answer for them. Um, uh, and be say anytime we be say you're picking where you born, uh, Gada Mora tell you say in one become soldier. <laughs> Try making finish university. Oh, uh, make you no know, carry and put for recruit and where you go the day and where they go the fight fight now you say you no know, go reach five months you are, you go lose your picking so is your picking say uh, and a soldier be my destiny you go tell and say my picking no Allah uh, finish university first after you finish university if it is possible uh, get your master's degree 
Uh, before you go to say, make you go enter soldier. Uh, but at least if the person has a first, his first degree, uh, which is BST, BED, or anyone, or even NSC self is still okay. I mean NCE or, or diploma is still okay so that uh, if he enter there, he will be able to uh, be put in a little higher position where they know they use and they drain gare. But normally, they hear Kepu Kepu say, if you get um first degree, say you want enter me, they say they hard though, uh, because they know say that once you enter the PM, the first thing will be say, um, once after the training, your position, the position will be say they go put you, you go day high, uh, because you are coming with a university certificate. I think that's one of the advantage. Uh, but if you are going there with secondary school certificate, my brother, your name now, yo, you go end for corpora. <laughs> You go in for copra and copra and those people any war. Now you go they put for front. Now you go die first because you're not a copra. You go they the copra them there. <laughs> so if you're picking one, tell you say, Mama, Papa, I want enter soldier. Uh, tell and say, My picking, yes, Mura high, but try go school, school high, pass. At least make you carry your certificate. Come out if they enter the soldier. Uh, make you know, be saying, Now you they go used to the Zembo uh, because plenty things. Uh, we be say they happen for Bodo. I uh, plenty now. Mm, as it stands now, uh, the Obodo NIG is not in good condition. Uh, nobody go lie about that one. Mm, somebody feed the, the politicians go to deceive us. So uh, they tell us yes, uh, this that 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 say things they okay, uh, things fine, things balanced. Now so they, they deceive citizens. So. They deceive other people where we say that they are the other war on other country uh, when they were then they now so politicians they do all over the world so that has become one of their main character uh, if you the reason say you are politicians you na make agreement say politician go follow you uh, they for that agreement we wanna make you know be politicians for you especially politicians where we say then they for Africa uh, within the deserve now the money uh, once the once the money they there, uh, they go do it. Once you give them the money, the higher bidder. Uh, if your politician promise you something, and um, in turn he sees another person that will give him more money, he goes to the person that will give him more money. Uh, as far as African politics is concerned, my brother will tell you that there is nothing like integrity there. Uh, it's hard to see an integrity person that has integrity. I could remember. Uh, when one of my auntie become a uh, account general of internal revenue in one state, uh, because of that, the woman suffered that you they they fight them uh, because she decided to set things straight. So, um, if you day for I just say and uh, you don't come, I say make you the set things straight. You be, you be Jesus Christ, my brother. They not go like you. They don't like all those Obonga people where they deceive them. Even these village people self. Uh, people, what thing marveled me was this um, con just concluded 2023 general election that we went for village, I and my team, some villages for uh, inspector, uh, inspection and correspondence. You see village people talking about how they no go vote for this man. The man no give them rice. The man no bring out anything. All the money where the man get, the man no one bring out anything. And I can't look at this thing. Come marvel. I say, oh, oh. So now, so now these village people, they even use their hand, uh, they bring fire where they burn them. The people where they, they vote for a person will give them something, you know, even if now one pint of rice or one pint of garlic you give them. That day, you go see them, they run to go to vote for you. And he may say better, if you do too much, come give them motorcycle, maybe for each woman now. Or maybe two people, one motorcycle, two people, one motorcycle. They go sing your song like never before. I think and that's what an African man wants. And that is why uh, Africa will continue to be where it is. On another information, police who injured lady at checking point arrested. Uh, they say they don't arrest police. Where we say you go injure lady for checking point. Uh, you know, say this police people now. And anything where we say enter their head, they, they do. A policeman who injured a lady at a checking point have been arrested. A viral video earlier in the week had shown a lady bleeding from the mouth with Nigeria calling for justice for her. The lady was seen sitting down in a car with the policeman still moving around me menacingly. The River State Police Command has since confirmed that the incident occurred within its jurisdiction. 
In a tweet on X, the, com the command released the photograph of the four officers involved in the incident. He tweeted update the police officers on a trending video on social media have been arrested. The command is pleading to the lady on the video to contact their number to share her side of the story as case of assault on members of the public by police officer Sacro San. <laughs> Uh, police, you're not going to take time or because now we're there for social media age. Anything we do for Bauchi, we go see and for Kapancha. Make a wind down the curtain here and I see me and you there in case not the first time we say the category join. Uh, kindly subscribe, like, comment, share.